Yo, what's up, guys? Day 24 here at the Lucky Cabin. We got Beluga out here. We got Hooper. And today's going to be a great day. Shout out to everyone that got that one. What's up, Beluga? What's up, boy? You go have fun. Go on. Hooper, attack. This weather out here really can't decide what it wants to do. A few days ago, we got a few inches of snow, and today it's almost 50 degrees. Beautiful day to work on the cabin. I'm not sure if we'll be able to drive all the way up to the cabin with snow on the ground, but I have a lot of confidence in my truck. I think Clifford will be just fine. Baloo and Hoop are homies, but for some reason, Beluga decided to do this today. Someone explain this to us. He's just trying to what is he doing? Damn. Now, Beluga's supposed to be teaching Hoop how to be a good dog. I'm sure this is some type of survival instinct, but it's wasting dog food, and it's something that I'm not sure Hoop needs to learn. <laughs> what a trip. Don't learn that one, Hooper. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Beluga's also super jealous. Watch this. Good boy. Today's a huge day here at the cabin spot. I think you guys are getting a pretty good idea of how hard it is to build a cabin. But there's other challenges that we're faced with out here that most people don't understand. Imagine waking up in your nice warm house in the middle of the night just to use the restroom. You're so warm and comfortable in your bed that you don't even want to get up and walk those 10 steps to your bathroom. Now put yourself in Will's position. You gotta wake up at 2 a.m., it's 10 degrees outside, there's snow on the ground, and you have to walk 100 feet away from the cabin just to dig a hole and use the restroom. My wife and I lived this lifestyle for quite a while before starting this cabin. And we learned right away that having a warm place to do your business is invaluable up here. With all that said, today's main focus is building the outhouse. I hope that one day social media can pay for projects like this, but right now everything's out of pocket. So we're gonna add a little twist to this challenge. I'm gonna try and build this entire outhouse for under a hundred bucks. The first step in this project is to level out the ground and the outhouse is gonna sit on four cinder blocks. We're starting by leveling the cinder block at the lowest point in the foundation. This will be our reference block, and we can level the rest of them to it. Total cost on the project so far is roughly 25 bucks. Half of the lumber is either repurposed or damaged lumber that I got at a discount, and the cinder blocks were only two bucks each. You probably can't tell from here, but we're standing on a giant sticker bush. Now we're leveling out the next block, using our reference block that's already been set. This outhouse is gonna be four foot by eight foot, which will maximize our space while minimizing cost and materials usage. Well, so much for a reference block. Now we're back to square one.
I'm glad we put the fucking shitter here. <laughs> on top of all these things. Yeah, covering them up. They're everywhere now, dude. That's why. Uh, pretty big maybe we should have gone a full eight feet wide nah nah, nah we won't need it <laughs> Thank you. 
Almost, almost got it. And that's where it's gonna go. I think I'm gonna leave it long like this because it'll be extra strength here on this wall, which I'll probably build up another couple feet. Now I just gotta get this thing notched, set down, and then maybe the window frame. Already getting dark, there's the moon, guys. Beautiful evening though. Beluga. Blue. Come say hi to the people. Oh, that's a good boy. That's my good boy. Check out Hooper, guys. Look at how big he got in two weeks. Just kidding. This is Beluga. This is my boy. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Say hi. Hello. That's a good boy.